I'm out here in the middle of Simpson Desert, which is a great opportunity for me to explain to you how a KTI safety alert personal locator beacon works. Now, where I am right now, I'm about 300 odd kilometers from Birdsville. This phone, my mobile phone's got no chance of working. There's no signal out here at all. In fact, Birdsville is the closest point where I'll get phone range. So my mobile phone is useless out here. And you know what, most of the country is like that. You'll see uh, phone networks talk about covering 90 something percent of the population, but that's the population. That's the people, not the land. The reality is 90 something percent of the actual land area is not covered by mobile phone networks. So you get out somewhere like here and there is zero phone reception. So what do you do if things go wrong? Well, you can have a satellite phone. Yep, that's a good option. Fairly expensive one, but it's an option. Um, there's other little devices that will send signals like a spot tracker, will send signals via satellite. But they require a subscription. And they're not a bad idea. They're, they're quite a viable alternative. But what's good about a safety alert PLB, or any personal locator beacon for that matter, they all fundamentally work the same way, is that it requires no subscription at all. You buy it, it's a one-off payment, and it will last you 10 years on one battery. There's no recharging it. It's a sealed unit. Um, you can take it on planes. There's no issues with that. It will last 10 years on that one battery unless you use it. And if you do use it, you can send it back to KTI in Melbourne, and they'll replace the battery and refer the unit for you. So let's say I'm in trouble. What's a good scenario? We're in the middle of the Simpson Desert, me and my three daughters. Uh, somebody gets bitten by a snake or somebody has an accident, somebody accidentally falls into the campfire and gets burnt, God forbid. Um, well, that's an emergency, okay? Now, I'm, I'm a long way from anywhere. I need help to come to me in that situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this out, I'm gonna open the antenna, and I'm gonna push the button. And that's gonna immediately send a distress signal to the emergency services. It's gonna send my GPS coordinates so they know exactly where it is. They, can, they don't have to guess or hone in, they know exactly where it is. and they also know who I am because I've registered this unit and as soon as you buy one, you go on the website uh, and the details are in, in the material you get when you buy it and you register it. All your details, you, your contact information and you can put the details of your trip as well and you can go and update that for future trips. So that if you do happen to push the button, the first thing to do is look in the database, find out who you are, where you're travelling, what your plans are, um, what your situation is and, um, and they can assess the best way to send you some help. Now, for under 300 bucks, it is cheap insurance when you consider that every year people die in the outback and there's just no need for it these days. In, in almost every situation you hear about on the news about somebody dying in the outback, they, they got bogged and you know were, were stranded, um, they broke down, nobody came, they did the right thing and stayed with the vehicle, but nobody came, nobody knew where they were there, nobody came to rescue them. There's just so many different scenarios that happen and every year more and more people die. But the reality is if any, in, in almost every situation if they'd had one of these, somebody would have known they were in trouble, help would have came. So it's simple, it's cheap, it's good insurance. And uh, frankly, with this technology available these days, there's just no way I'd be traveling um, outside of mobile phone range without one of these in the glove box. And when I get on my motorbike and go for a ride in the bush, it's in my top pocket of my jacket. It's just a simple, cheap insurance policy.